Hello everyone, welcome to Dragon Emperor 03. So finally I have reached level 80. I have maxed out my Sung Jinwoo as you can see here. Surprising factor is that like you know after level 80 I thought it will just show like maxed out. Like you know max but it's like still gaining XP. Curious to see what will happen after I hit that as well. And here's my stat and stuff and a lot of you guys were criticizing saying that why am I putting all my stat into crit is that because I have very b terrible luck in this game so far when it comes to artifacts. Because I still haven't got any like proper artifact and I'm still testing out different different artifacts for Sung Jin Woo. Though earring, uh, necklace and all those things are like I've already fixed this is going to be the final one. But for the you know helmet, shield and uh, sorry body, hand and other gloves and stuff I'm still like trying actually. I'll mostly go with the crit one itself but just experimenting randomly for now. And here's my stats, it's actual stats of again here's my precision level 90. If you guys have like you know precision close to 90 then definitely invest all the stat into strength if you want to do extra damage but definitely uh, once i get like you know pretty good crit rate in like artifacts then i'm definitely going to take all my stat and put back into strength precision then last is intelligence actually intelligence also has pretty useful benefit as well so as we play the game here i will be talking about all the stats and stuff explaining which is better and like you know which you should be focusing early and which you should be focusing on late game so one thing is that if you are a free to play player and you're starting this game like early you know right means you are now you know, someone who's like joining the game now itself recently one thing is that do not put all your stat into strength early game no matter what you might be tempted to it don't do that your first priority should be uh, definitely precision keep your precision close to 90 percent once you're hitting level 90 percent sorry just 90 percent then put it in next into the uh this one crit damage and crit rate actually because those two are more important than strength itself in early game especially once because like you know start going into mid to late game you will start getting artifacts with crit rate you might be lucky if you're getting early game but until you're around getting those in the artifacts invest maximum in crit rate then third strength i'll repeat again your first priority should be early game is precision then crit rate then third is strength though this i'm still like you know i've reached level 90 here i'm going waiting for the up next update what's going to happen because as far as you can see, Egress has become kind of a bit easy for me. Though I'm not doing that much damage, I'm easily able to protect here, like you know, protect his entire pattern actually, attack pattern and stuff. I've been playing Souls games for a while, so yeah, fighting bosses like this have like I've gotten used to those. As you can see, poor Egress is not able to touch me. Poor guy. <laughs> Honestly, if you have Emma and CGO in this game, definitely start building those two, no matter what. Especially CGU is a like must have because without her doing Cerberus is crazy hard. I'm not even kidding. That's even for me like you know I have like almost uh, every character in this game. And even with uh, like you know having CGU without her that Cerberus is super hard and annoying. Until maybe a stage 5, 6 maybe up to 7 you can go I guess. But after 7 it becomes just crazy hell. So she's definitely a must have. And Emma is also one of the like you know most important characters in this game. At this point, I'm just feeling sorry for uh, Igress here. <laughs> He's not able to hit me much. And here as well. And one more thing is, guys, first, if you have, like, you know, skill scrolls or anything, do not waste randomly on every skill. The one thing I'll touch is, like, focus on first as commander stretch, which will unlock, I think, around level 30 or 40, if I'm not wrong. Or maybe later than that, I guess. But yeah, commander stretch, then again, shadow step, then ultimate. These three you need to focus early game, no matter what. Do not waste your skill scroll if you're a free-to-play player. No matter how tempted you are, do not waste them on random, like, you know, skill whatever you see there. Because Commander's Touch has, like, pretty good AOE damage. Especially, like, you know, when you're doing, like, you know, time, uh, like, uh, which is that? Uh, the gold one, I guess, the goblin ones. For those, this guy's, like, command Touch is pretty useful there. And, yeah, some of them have just pretty good effect as well. One is going to get, like, you know, there are, I forgot to show here. But, yeah. One has like you know which is gonna give you re regain your MP. Another one is gonna like lower the enemy defense. Another one is that it's gonna uh, increase the crit rate. Or, no, it is crit damage if I'm not wrong. That one. And here we are. Egress is almost dead. Oh, 14 more. Okay, 30 seconds. I just need to build more of my attack actually it's because my Sangjin is still not yet built. I'm definitely going for crit build with him. Because the ultimate is not working exactly the best, like as I hoped. I was thinking like it's going to be additional of 25% of whatever damage I do, but it's not like that. It is like, you know, if suppose my ultimate does like maybe let's go 4,250 damage, sorry, 
five fifty something like that. It's like four thousand five seventy five now. Like that it is. It's not like okay, twenty five percent of four thousand. It is just twenty five percent additional on that. That is kind of disappointing though. Beast artifact is again must for Sangjinu as well. Oh great, this is not that great, but though. Okay, now instead of egress, let's do dogs. The thing is that I'm still not able to do dogs because of you know the which is that mm, book of Tita uh, Tetis, I guess. I have only like one dupe of that, not dupe actually. I have just a zero of that one. So that is a bit kind of hard to do as well. So let's go with tier nine itself. Tier nine is what I'm able to do at level eighty as well. And let's remove him and choice also here. I'll just go with him. Choice also pretty good actually in this game. He is like straight up like he has one of the most simplest build if that kind of makes sense because you don't have to like you know f have artifact with crit day uh, rate or crit damage because crit rate and crit damage both is useless for him because his none of his attack will ever crit but uh, say at the same time if you have crit rate that is going to increase additional like if you have suppose let's say five percent of crit rate instead of doing crit rate it will become no crit damage uh, means it will increase his attack by five percent that is pretty like simple and like you know straightforward as well he's one of the most simplest characters to build actually you don't have to like you know wait for much rng for this guy and here are the dogs now honestly like first if you're playing this just yeah practice with these dogs randomly because in this the key you don't lose keys unless like you know as long as you're not uh not that you just don't lose unless you're until winning so you can practice as much as you want without fearing okay you'll lose key if you lose the battle or something as you can see here And this is like one of the reasons like I put all my stat into crit is because you know the beast necklace as you can see as you can see the bottom right every time I crit my attack increases by 1.6% now it is 15 so it is like you know 1.6 into 15 right there that's like almost 6 uh, let's see how much 16% 16 again then again half of that there so roughly around 20% someone is doing right now definitely don't take my math into uh, consideration right now Okay, now it is 32% at 20, that is correct though. Now it's 23. So this is why like, you know, you need to invest into crit and get beast set for Sanjinu. That is like a must. There's no like, other like, you know, artifact, uh, like, necklace set uh, for him better than him for this one actually. That is like, without a miss, no matter what, everybody's gonna agree with that itself. Beast set is the best for him. And you can see my damage is increasing as I'm just doing like longer. The more like, you know, crit, the more I crit, the more damage I'm doing. One dog is almost dead. Yep, he's dead. And this is the second one. Okay, I did not dodge, the, dodge that. Honestly, there, this game has like, you know, many free SS, like SR characters which are just pretty good. And lot, not many of them are actually like that much appreciated in this game. I'll definitely make a video on that as well. If you guys have made it this far into the video, please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in my next video. Once again, thank you all. Bye-bye. See you guys.